सो नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ अ लार्ज केटल अ लार्ज किचन केटल हैड बीन लेफ्ट ऑन द फायर टू बॉयल फॉर टी एंड स्टोर टू फाइंडिंग हिमसेल्फ विद नथिंग बेटर टू डू डिसाइड टू रिमूव द लेट फाइंडिंग द वॉटर जस्ट वॉम इन अफ फॉर अ बाद ही गॉट इन सो यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर विद हिज हैड स्टिकिंग आउट फ्रॉम द ओपन केटल दिस वॉज जस्ट फाइन फॉर अ वाइल आंटिल द वॉटर बिगेन टू बॉयल Toto then raised himself a little, but finding it cold outside, sat down again. He continued hopping up and down for some time until grandmother arrived and hauled him, half boiled out of the kettle. <laughs> hauled, hauled him, pulled him out. Okay. So explanation: In a large kettle, water was boiling on the stove. Toto. Uh, climbed up to the stove and removed the lid from it. Removed uh, the lid from it. He felt that the water was warm enough for him to take a bath. He entered the kettle with his <coughs> with his head out of it when the water started boiling. It became for hot for Toto. He thought. of coming out of the kettle but as the temperature outside was cold for him he stayed in it toto kept on jumping in the kettle for a while so spelling of kettle is wrong here okay it is k e t t l e it was when the writer's grandmother arrived that she took the half boiled monkey out of the kettle next paragraph if there is a part of the brain especially devoted to mischief that part was largely developed in toto he was always tearing things to pieces whenever one of my aunt aunts came near him he made every effort to get hold of her press and tear a hole in it so explanation if there is part uh, if, if there is a part in our brain that governs our ability to create mischief then that part in toto's brain was highly developed as he had great capacity to do mischief he was always busy doing mischief whenever the writers aunts passed him he uh, tried to tear their dresses next paragraph one day at lunch time a large dish of pulao stood in the center of the dining table we entered the room to find toto stuffing himself with rice my grandmother screamed and toto threw a plate at her one of my aunts rushed forward and received a glass of water in the face when grandfather arrived toto picked up the dish of pulao and made his exit through a window we found him in the branches of the jackfruit tree the dish still in his arm he remained there all afternoon eating slowly through the rice determined of finishing every grain and then in order to spite grandmother who had screamed at him he threw the dish down from the tree and chattered with delight when it broke into 100 pieces spite a desire to hurt annoy or offend someone chattered the sound made by the monkey now explanation the writer recollects another incident when vento to cheated created a lot of mischief at lunch time a dish of rice was placed on the dining table when the family reached to eat they found toto eating it the writer's grandmother screamed at toto and in response he threw a plate at her when the aunts tried to catch toto he threw a glass of water in their face when the grandfather arrived toto left the place through a window with the dish of rice along with him toto remained out the entire afternoon he sat on the branch of the jackfruit tree determined to eat all the rice as the grandmother had screamed on him he wanted to annoy her father and so after eating the rice he threw the dish it broke into several pieces obviously toto was not the sort of pet we could keep for long even grandfather realized that we were not well to do and couldn't afford the frequent loss of dishes clothes curtains and wallpaper so grandfather found the tonga driver and sold toto back to him for only 3 rupees finally grandfather realized that toto was not suitable to be kept at home they could not afford the frequent losses that he gave them he tore clothes curtains wallpapers and broke dish dishes so the grandfather sold toto back to the same tonga driver for a sum of 3 rupees 
okay so this was the explanation part of this chapter okay the adventure of toto now summary the writer's grandfather liked to collect animals and had a zoo at home once he bought a monkey named toto from a tonga driver for a sum of rupees 5 rupees 5 Toto was kept secretly as the grandmother disliked animals. Toto was very mischievous. When the uh, when the writer and his grandfather hid Toto in a cupboard and tied him to a hook, he broke the hook and caused havoc in the room. The next day, when he was kept in the servants' room along with other animals, he did he did not let them sleep all night. As grandfather had to go to Saharanpur for work he decided to take the monkey along with him he carried toto in a strong bag made of canvas and closed the zip nicely so that toto couldn't escape toto made unsuccessful attempts to get out of the bag which made the bag jump and roll this aroused the curiosity of fellow passengers at the railway station at the saharanpur railway station when grandfather was getting his ticket checked Toto peeked out of the bag and smiled at the ticket collector. As the ticket collector declared that it was a dog, grandfather had to buy a ticket for three rupees, much to his annoyance. When Toto was accepted by grandmother, it was given a place in the stable along with the do- donkey Nana. Toto didn't get along with the Nana as well. Toto enjoyed taking bath in warm water during the winter season. One day he almost boiled himself when he jumped into a kettle of boiling water. One afternoon Toto ate the family meal of pulao. He threw the empty dish from the tree and it broke into several pieces. Toto mischief grew by grew by the day and grandfather realized that they could not keep him at home. Finally he found the same Tonga driver and sold Toto back to him for a sum of rupees 3. So this was the explanation. okay in my next video i'll post question answer i think this chapter will be understood now write the summary of this chapter okay okay thank you so much